In this video, we're going to be talking about specialized driving privileges in Indiana. Certain times, if somebody has a suspended license, they can qualify for a, a license that lets them drive to certain places at certain times. We're going to discuss this specialized license, how you can obtain it, what kind of conditions you may see with specialized driving privileges. So about me, my name is Nathan Vining. I'm a criminal defense attorney in Indiana. And as a part of that, I help people apply for specialized driving privileges. And hopefully by the end of this video, you know more about specialized driving privileges and if you can qualify and how to see if you do. So ultimately, specialized driving privileges, it's a law in Indiana that allows people with suspended li driver's licenses to drive to and from specific places that are approved by the court during certain times. These privileges are narrowly tailored to each person's individual situation, but ultimately it gets people back driving so you can work more freely. You're not out there getting caught driving while suspended or anything like that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is review your suspensions and reinstatement requirements. You can do that by getting your online driving record. You can go to this website and get it. It's my BMV. And in that there's going to be a section that has suspensions and it's going to show what active suspensions are on your license. And are there any things you need to do to get your license back? For instance, there can be unpaid tickets where if you pay your, it may remove the suspension or there could be things like a need to complete a driver safety course and if you complete that may get your license back too but ultimately if there's active suspensions and you can't do anything to clear those what you may need to do is apply for specialized driving privileges so as i mentioned specialized driving privileges are often limited driving privileges so the court's going to impose several different restrictions one of the first ones if you're involved and the courts are suspended due to some kind of substance abuse issue or operating while intoxicated a lot of times they may require what's known as an ignition interlock device so you uh, would blow into this device show that you're sober and then you'd be allowed to drive some courts may also require certain treatment requirements they may require you to go to aa or na weekly as a condition of the specialized driving privileges. That's also if you have no WI or other substance abuse issues on your record. The other big restriction is time and place. So a lot of times it will delineate the times and places where you're allowed to drive. So if you work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., a lot of times it will allow you to drive between 7 to 8, 8 a.m. and 5 to 6 p.m. to and from your work and your home. You can also carve out times where you're allowed to drive for uh, children purposes, so for instance getting your kids to and from school or to and from parenting time exchanges, as well as church, grocery stores, or other kinds of medical or substance abuse treatments. So they can be pretty liberal, but they're also very specific and can only allow you to drive in certain times. So the process to get specialized driving privileges, essentially you would file within the county where you reside and you would serve uh, paperwork on the prosecutor and the BMV. And in this petition, what you're going to do is talk about the hardship that your experience is due to not driving. You're going to basically cite to the requirements. Do you qualify for specialized driving privileges? There's certain people that don't qualify. For instance, if you need to drive for CDL purpose, you failed to submit to chemical tests as a result of OWI, or if you have certain kinds of convictions on your record, you may be ineligible. But they are granted pretty readily so long as you fit the requirements. And it, you would indicate that you do that in the petition. The court will then hold a hearing to talk about where you need to drive, what the need for you to drive is, and then the court will place restrictions and grant that specialized driving privilege. And the court may also uh, have compliance hearings every 90, 180 days, or even yearly to discuss the status of your license and are you in compliance with the order or not. So if you violate the specialized driving privileges, that can be done through driving outside of approved times, taking unapproved routes. If you pick up other charges like driving under the influence, you can be violated and it can be considered a misdemeanor and the court can revoke those privileges if you do not follow the terms of the order. So if you are looking uh, to get help with specialized driving privileges or you're dealing with license issues, feel free to give me a call or text me. I'd be happy to help you pull up your BMV record and take a look at everything.